Brady Coburn has been scouting fields for nearly 60 years. His first opportunity to do agricultural work allowed him to move away from his hometown of Wisner and work in the Cheneyville account area in Rapides Parish. Coburn liked the job so much, it changed his career path. The more and more I enjoyed the field work, the interaction with the grower clients, the diversity of, of what all we saw and had an opportunity to learn. By the third summer, I was convinced that I didn't want to be a medical technician. I liked agriculture and I wanted to be involved in agriculture. Coburn has served as one of the longest tenured crop consultants in the state. He started his own consulting business, Pest Management Enterprises, in 1975. The business flourished, and it is now operated on a 150-acre facility, which enables Coburn to conduct his own research. It was always a dream, and uh, for the first 20-odd years, we, we worked out of a little wooden shack in Cheneyville City Limits. Finally, in, in 2001, we were able to buy this property, build this facility, and uh, have really enjoyed it. Coburn knows his clients' livelihoods depend on the information he provides. He knows the observations taken in the fields must be accurate and the advice he provides must be comprehensive. So it's, it's an awesome responsibility to, to, to make those recommendations and know that they're the correct recommendation that's going to be effective, economical, and environmentally sound. And that, that's the responsibility that I take on every day when I go to the field to do consulting work. Armed with a doctorate in entomology, Coburn takes his knowledge and years of experience into fields to battle the many pests that target crops grown in Louisiana's hot subtropical climate. The ability to grow so many different agronomic crops can be a blessing and a curse. Absolutely, the Mid-South has unique issues because of the environment and because of the common host pest scenario that we have. There's some insects that feed on soybean, grain, sorghum, corn, and cotton, all four. So when you've got both, all four of those commodities growing, you, you have an opportunity to build a pest situation for another commodity. Having acreage to conduct his own research trials gives Coburn the flexibility to try both conventional and unconventional experiments. If his findings are of value to his clients, he is very willing to share the results. With our, with our farm here, we, we have an opportunity to try things uh, sometimes that's not really out at the grower level. And sometimes those pay off and sometimes they don't. But anyway, with those good ones, we try to pass them along. Coburn is an active member of professional organizations and is considered to be one of the founding fathers of the Louisiana Agricultural Consultants Association. He is eager to provide to others in agriculture because agriculture has been so good to him. I feel like I need to give a little bit back. So that's why I try to try to stay involved in organizations and try to help young people. My wife and I have sponsored several scholarships through the Louisiana Ag Consultants Association and other things. I, I just want to give back some from, from what I've received. From scouting fields during high school summers to serving as one of the most distinguished crop consultants in the state, Grady Coburn has seen the best that agriculture has to offer. And with his induction into the Louisiana Agriculture Hall of Distinction, he is now certified as being one of the best. It's an extreme humbling uh, feeling I, to be put in a category with, with all of these elite agriculturalists is, is just phenomenal to me. I, I, I can't imagine it. I'm so tickled and so pleased to be included in that group. <laughs>